Python can be integrated into Excel and used as a replacement for VBA using the Excel add-in Pixel. Pixel embeds the Python interpreter into Excel and allows you to expose your own Python code to Excel users. The Python code runs in the same process as Excel on the Windows desktop. If you are a Jupyter user, you will be familiar with running code on a remote Jupyter Notebook server from a web browser. Sometimes it can be preferable to run code remotely, rather than on the local PC. This video will show how Python functions running in a Jupyter Notebook server can be called from Excel formulas using Pixel. We'll start by creating an Azure Notebook. Azure Notebooks are Jupyter Notebooks hosted by Microsoft, but you could easily use a local notebook server instead if you prefer. We can write a function that we might like to call from Excel and test it out in our notebook. To bridge Pixel and the Jupyter Notebook server, we will need to use the Pixel Notebook project available from the Pixel GitHub page. In our Azure Notebook, we can install that using pip install. If you're using a local notebook server, you will need to install it into your Python environment before starting the notebook server. Once that's installed, we can use the Excel func decorator and add that to our function. This is what will tell Pixel to expose this function to Excel. The next step is to configure Pixel to load the Pixel notebook package and to tell it how to connect to the notebook server. The Pixel Notebook project contains an example config file that we can modify and reference from the main pixel.config file. Now when we start Excel with the Pixel add-in loaded, we can run the notebook. This runs it in the remote kernel running in Azure, not on the local PC. It will take a few seconds as it has to create the kernel and do the pip install. Once it's completed, the Azure test function is available to be called from Excel. Again, this is running code remotely on the Azure notebook server, but the kernel is already running so it's fast. We can now add another function to our notebook. This one returns an array of data rather than just a single number. We can rerun the notebook in Excel and it will pick up that new function. For more information about how you can integrate Excel with your Jupyter Notebook server, please contact us.